subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss another update from India Forums. I like how you rounded up three times. <laughs> yes, I mean, I, I, love, I love doing that myself. Completely round up. Yeah, completely round up. It's like, it's like a process. <laughs> I get it. it's, like, it's like when you're at a party and you start the process of saying bye. मैं नहीं कर रहा हूँ पर धीरे धीरे बाय 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 फिर और एक बाय और फिर और एक बाय एक्चुअली एक्जेक्टली Hi everyone, welcome to India Forums, and today we have with us the one and only Shreya Pilgaonkar. Hi Shreya, welcome to India Forums. Hi, I love the introduction, the one and only. <laughs> you certainly, yeah, you certainly deserve that. Fantastic. All right, so of course, uh, let's start with the parent question. I'm sure you probably are really tired by answering that, but I think it's very important. <laughs> so tell us, you know, tell us uh, what's you know so fascinating about your character in Murder in Agonda. Well, you know, I love murder mysteries. I've always loved this genre. In fact, growing up, I was obsessed with reading murder mysteries. So, from Agatha Christie, um, uh, Satyajit Ray, Feluda, Sherlock Holmes, Enid Blyton, I've grown up reading a lot of murder mysteries. And in fact, even while reading them, I used to try and solve the murder even before the book was over. Right. And then I used to get a massive kick out of it. And there was a time when I actually felt like I would I would make a very good detective. Um, so, which is why when this uh, story came my way, when I read it, I wasn't firstly able to predict how it's happened, and secondly, the character was very beautifully written. So, I, I play Sarla. She's a forensics uh, technician, and she's working in Mumbai. But we see her quitting her job and coming to uh, Goa, which is her hometown. where her mother and her brother live and something's changed for her she is uh, very suppressed she's in words she has become an angry person because of some things that she's experienced in mumbai right we only understand through the course of the show as to what's happening so there are two parallel tracks one is of course of the murder mystery that sir last brother sanket forces her to solve and this brother sister duo are solving it but at the same time it's also a journey of Sal, uh, sarla discovering herself uh, accepting herself coming to terms with her sexuality so there are many layers in the story it's not just a murder mystery and of course there's humor in it it's quirky yes. which i really uh, like as a way of aesthetic of like storytelling Correct, fantastic. That sounds really interesting. Uh, you know, and uh, as you mentioned that you know you've read novels, you used to read all those murder mysteries, which always interested you. And you were playing a forensics investigator of sorts. So, uh, how did you get into the psyche of you know being a forensic investigator? Because it's actually entirely different from just being a normal investigator or a, a character which uh, you know as if Sheikh is playing the policeman. So, complete two completely different psyches. So, how did you get into that, or is it just the writing that takes over? you know in in this particular story they are doing this on a sly and she's doing this unofficially yeah she's not doing this officially so for her initially it starts with her brother forcing her but we see that sarla is very curious and in fact that's a similarity maybe between sarla and i that right. we both are very curious people so because this excites her she ends up following through and, dis- and discovers many more things but otherwise initially it's more like she was forced by her brother who's irritating her saying tai help me solve this help me solve this there are some uh, i can't really reveal it but there are some yeah. interesting forensic elements in the show also that would be interesting for the audience to see in terms of how the plot unfolds which is quite unique to the subject so it's not just about who did it but how the person did it where the a bit of the scientific element comes into it so that was quite fascinating and uh, i just had a few scenes wherein i actually had to um do things like matching thumbprints fingerprints right. uh, and stuff like that and i think i wanted to show that with ease so i had a few reference videos which i had to keep practicing because that had to look authentic but otherwise yeah. there was nothing specifically very different that i had to do i just had to get into the psyche of being sarla and then approach everything Perfect. That sounds great. Uh, and you know, uh, so where it comes to you know thrillers or murder mysteries, um, and especially in Indian content, it's a very different way that we've approached it as opposed to what we see globally. Uh, I'm probably making this reference because there are certain tropes, you know, which your filmmakers seem to be following when it comes to showing those in Indian content. And like what? Do- 
uh, there are certain tropes you know that you know there will be a character uh, will probably will make you feel that it's always uh, leading leading the viewer to feel one way about the character and purposefully completely switch his flipping over and that's uh, a trope for uh, the genre cross i mean yeah, absolutely is, yeah no no absolutely my question uh, uh, as you as you uh, interrupted me for that is that how, what do you feel these tropes are just to a uh, constant and uh, do they take away from a murder mystery uh, when it comes to viewing experience or probably is this just yeah, is essential or something like this it all depends i personally i feel like um, i i don't really look at them as tropes because i feel like even for example if you take sherlock as yeah. an example yeah sherlock himself as a character makes it very exciting right and you see him in his personal life also so i think what makes murder mysteries unique is not just about the who done it aspect but it's about what kind of people are you creating within the show so even in murder in agonda the characters that we've shown we all get to see who they are as people and what they are battling right and that makes it more interesting and that makes it different because at the end of it predicting something or not is not the win win of the show but how are you really writing your characters and how are you um, sort of uh, exploring their emotional graph to me that's what makes an interesting show if you saw kate winslet in uh, mayor of easton i have yeah brilliant now that was also a mystery right i mean they were trying Absolutely. to discover but we saw more of kate in her personal life Correct. and similarly in modern nagonda you see a lot of sarla and sanket and how they are as people which makes you want to go on this journey with them right fair enough that makes sense uh, and you know uh, it's also one other another uh, fresh thing with you know amazon mini tv and i think the series itself is that you are following i if i'm not wrong you're following the one week uh, you know format like releasing uh, an episode every week So in, uh, in our case, we're releasing two together first, and okay. then there will be. And then there will be, right, right. But again, something which is not really done so far because we've seen the bigger leagues. Some things like an Amazon Prime video itself or any other, you know, rival platform, yeah. they just uh, put out all the episodes together, uh, following the whole idea of binge watching and everything. So, do you think uh, this will affect the show in one way or another, or is just something that you probably get used to? Well, it works. For example, Hotstar does it also. Yeah. HBO does it. They release. They don't release everything together. So I feel like if you uh, today people, there is no limit to what they're watching. Correct. Once they start watching something, if your first two episodes are strong or if your first episode is strong, people are curious. And I think in a murder mystery format, it's nice to keep people waiting also. Right. It works either ways. You know, yeah. I know of people who also wait till everything is released and watch it later. Yes, but you also know people who want to watch it immediately, and then you have that much time to build things up because now even we are going to be posting teasers or talking a little more, so there's much more interaction like that also. So I feel like there's no one particular formula. Both have worked in their own way. Like I personally get very anxious. I like it troubles me when I have to wait, but I can't help it. Like I watch it when it comes, but then I'm okay waiting. and looking forward to it <laughs> <laughs> right that's correct uh, and you know uh, your career is probably you know the perfect example of how ott has bloomed uh, you know immensely in the past few years because you've only found your footing in the best way possible uh, on ott platforms doing some fine shows and fine characters um but of course you started with you know feature films started as in coming into notice i mean by i mean by that so uh, do you feel that you know uh, how do you feel about the other way your career has shaped up so far and what do you uh, aspire or you know aspire to want to do next in this medium or in general you know i've always been very ambitious and even before i decided to become an actor i knew that whatever i do i want to do it at a global scale mm. i don't want to be just known as an indian actor i want to be known as an indian actor who's also working globally internationally mm. which is why for me being known for being versatile or doing diverse things is important which is why like i started doing i did a marathi film i've done french i've done beecham house which is yes. uh, a series directed by gurinder chadda so i am an explorer at heart i really enjoy doing different things and i also know that this is such an unpredictable field that you would be naive to think that things go according to your plan 
because they don't right so you have to make the best of what you have and uh you know we're often asked this question actors that what medium do you prefer and i'm really glad you didn't ask me that question <laughs> because today there are so many ways of putting your work out there right, right. um the the charm of working on films uh now that cinemas are open to see yourself on a larger screen the writing the narrative of a film the structure the production the casting it's a different approach correct on an ott also uh, when we're talking about ott it's a different approach um but the work i would put into it as an actor or my excitement level does not change yes of course like this year i have um uh, six releases coming up on ott but they are all completely different genres yeah and i am hoping that um i also get to add a film in this bag very soon because right. uh, very strangely whenever i have got a film either that film hasn't released or it has not worked out because of dates or it has just not worked out right so initially it would be i would wonder as to you know that oh i want to do a film but for me my priority is to work on good stories and to be seen <laughs> and portrayed in a good way fair enough yeah so today people are not looking at it as the power structure it's all we're all on the same plane right we're all on the same plane so as long as i get to be part of good stories it doesn't matter what that uh, medium is um but yes of course uh, i would love to uh, do like a good film i'd love to in fact i've never had a chance to sort of do an out and out bollywood masala naach gana yeah exactly <laughs> i would love to do it i said I, i've been doing a lot of sort of hardcore serious stuff but this yeah. year i have something light hearted also coming so i'm putting it out there in the universe <laughs> absolutely yeah, we really wish that happens for sure uh and you know just a couple of things to round up uh one being you know uh, as we're talking about mediums we're talking about different presentations coming out in different mediums um you know even with the advent and constant blooming of uh, you know content on ott i i feel that there is now uh, we are now at a phase where you know there is so much clutter also because there is so much coming around it's it's almost impossible to keep up with everything yeah. at the same time you have to make sure that your content somehow stands out when you promote it or when you do it for that matter uh do you feel that this clutter really affects uh, probably some of the biggest shows and some shows which are probably you know then rated as underrated gems and all that you know this is the part uh what i mean when i say these things are not in your control yeah because as an actor i can give in 100% of my heart and soul into something but the timing that it's going to release how it's going to release the mounting it makes such a difference but i have also seen i have seen shows let me give you an example a show uh, like tabbar yes that worked purely on the basis of word of mouth absolutely right? but it did really well yep and then you have a show like uh, mirzapur that also with out and out um uh, uh publicity also yeah. did really well and then you have shows that might do a lot of publicity but might not do well yeah. so eventually what it, does it come down to it comes down to the content but i do agree that it is a fight to be seen yes and that fight also ends up uh, tinkering down to the actors because i feel like a lot of people today are more focused on trying to create a perception then working on themselves right and not that i'm judging but it's like i can't think like that like it stresses me out i would never be able to be obsessed with my social media trying to think how am i coming across like i don't even know how to do that but some people <laughs> are really good at it and they are milking their careers out of that okay. fair enough fair enough so i think you just need to find your comfort zone and see what makes you happy and what you're doing because honestly i want to be a happy actor there are too many unhappy actors true, you know true. what i'm saying i just want to whatever i have whatever i get there are many things i have not got there are many things i want to do but in the process i don't want to lose myself yeah and i don't want to uh, think less of myself or what i stand for and you have to accept that a lot of it is a destiny of a project which is why now very consciously 
I work, I enjoy, I'll enjoy the promotions and mentally I somehow just let it go. I keep the expectations low no matter <laughs> what it is <laughs> because you have that's my way of protecting myself. That's right. <laughs> that's the perfect fantastic. Uh and yeah, you know I mean just to round up uh how do you you know would you uh, urge from your part to be you know telling viewers or you know telling everybody to have give murder in you know, gonda a chance and watch it from your side how do you uh, would you do tell me? i'll just say it's a really fun murder mystery i think there's enough really intense content out there but if you want something that's easy breezy that's fun that also has humor in it and i mean let's admit it who doesn't like a good murder mystery definitely i mean i don't know anybody who doesn't enjoy it and it's for free it's so simple you just have to go on that amazon shopping app and wahan pe yeah. there's a mini tv icon you just have Correct. to watch it click on it and uh, well april is my birthday month and oh, i hope as a birthday gift to me you will watch both my shows uh, not just amazon uh, mini tv pe murder nagonda but i have just today guilty minds was announced yes um, absolutely i just saw the poster looks very yeah, fascinating <laughs> which is a show very close to my heart where i'm playing a lawyer so uh i would love the audience to give me that birthday gift of watching both my shows and then all the other ones also <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm i'm almost certain that will happen uh, and you know just to for uh, completely round up uh, apart from you know uh, murder in gonda i like how you rounded up three times <laughs> yes, i mean i i love i love doing that myself completely it's, round up yeah, completely round up it's like it's like a process <laughs> i get rounding it's, up like, up. it's like when you're at a party and you start the process of saying bye मैं नहीं कर रहा हूँ बट धीरे धीरे बाय 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 फिर और एक बाय और फिर और एक बाय एक्चुअली एक्जेक्टली दैट्स हाउ दैट्स हाउ आई डू इट सो या आई मीन माय क्वेश्चन ये द फाइनल क्वेश्चन इज़ दैट यू नो अपार्ट फ्रॉम गिल्टी माइंस एंड मर्डर ने गांडा व्हाट एक्जेक्टली डू यू हैव इन स्टोर एस यू मेंशन हैव अराउंड सिक्स शोस कमिंग अप एंड व्हाट कैन यू टेल अस अबाउट दैट well the stuff that is announced that i can tell you is that i have the second season of track down which yeah. is apurva mm-hmm. lakhya's thriller that i did and i get to do action which is a lot of fun and we shot that in uh, jaisalmer and in kashmir which was a lot right. of fun. then even the season 2 of gone game the season 1 was widely appreciated we shot it yeah, during the uh, pandemic did you watch it absolutely i was yeah. amazed so we shot that uh, during the pandemic so hence this time to shoot it outside was uh, very interesting because that was self shot Yeah. and then the other three releases uh, are not yet announced but one is a comedy in one i'm playing a butcher in one i'm playing a news reporter so they're all very uh, different genres and honestly the hope is i mean i also have my wish list of actors i want to work with directors i want to work with and often it's not that easy to get their attention right and i don't even know if this will get their attention but yeah. i am a believer in work good work brings good work definitely and that is what the hope is that mm-hmm. sometimes when people lack an imagination you have to spoon feed them and you have to show them what i'm capable of and maybe for me this year is that year where i'm just trying to do that definitely we certainly hope that happens uh, thank you so much shreya it was an absolute pleasure talking to you and i wish you all the best for murder on and everything ahead thank you i really enjoyed your questions thank you thank you thank you so much